morning, I'm Lucas Barbosa de Almeida, from UNESP Rio Claro, and I'm going to present the paper Representation Learned for Image Retrieval through 3D CNN and Manifold Ranking. In the past years, image-based human action recognition has become a very active topic of research, involving diverse machine learning and computer vision techniques. In general, it focuses on identifying a person's action or behavior from images, and it is an important branch among the studies of human perception and computer vision systems. Recent solutions have applications in domains such as visual surveillance, human-computer interaction, image and video retrieval, and are challenging due to variations in movement performance and interpersonal difference. Recently, most of the successful results on many of these applications rely on deep learning techniques, which have gained a notable reputation on diverse domains, including image retrieval, object classification and detection. The convolutional neural networks, CNNs, have become popular particularly due to the ability in handling large amounts of data and the advances in hardware technology. Notable, CNNs tend to require a minimal level of pre-processing when compared to other image classification algorithms, and yet achieve state-of-the-art results. However, Despite such advantages, CNNs often require a huge amount of data for the training stage, which can lead to the limitation of their use in many situations. This is one of the reasons why data augmentation strategies can be applied to improve the generalization of CNNs, reducing the bottlenecks associated with high requirements on the amount of training data, and, consequently, obtain significant accurate gains. To overcome these shortcomings in this paper, we propose the construction of a representation learn approach that exploits a hunkered based formulation to build more comprehensive and effective representations based on the same amount of data. Our approach is used on an unsupervised image retrieval scenario applied on action recognition datasets. Presenting an overview of our approach, we have the following figure. We propose the construction of a more comprehensive and effective data representation for image retrieval by exploiting transfer learning and manifold learning algorithms to a hunkered based formulation. The main goal is to achieve more effective retrieval results based on a representation provided for unsupervised scenarios where no labeled data is available. Firstly, we use a transfer learned formulation based on a 2D CNN trained in another large scale dataset. The 2D CNN features are used to rank the images from the analyzed dataset. Step 1. The computed rankings define the sequence of images that are used as input to a 3D CNN. The 2D CNN is also trained by transfer learning, and the features extracted are used to compute other set of rankings. Step 2. In the last step, both rankings defined by 2D and 3D CNNs are fused by manifold learning algorithms in order to compute the final retrieval results, step 3. The 2D representation is done by directly extracting the characteristic of the image to the 2D CNN. From the extracted feature vectors, hunkered lists are computed, lists in which, for a given query element, the most similar elements contained in the dataset are hunkered. The set of all these hunkered lists is denoted by tau2. The set tau2 is then used to determine the sequence of frames, where given an element q of the dataset, the sequence is composed of the most similar top kr image and the q image. The sequence is fed into the CNN 3D model, so that instead of considering the temporal information, the similarity relation of the neighborhoods of the image q is used. The new set of ranked disks computed from the features vector extracted using the 3D CNN on the composite representation of the query image and its, neighbor and its neighborhoods is denoted tau3. In order to combine information from the 2D and 3D CNN, manifold learning methods are employed. This approach aims to combine the most precise representation of similarity obtained by tau2 with the most diverse information, containing information from the neighborhoods of the image, represented by tau3. Because such methods tend to exploit more global similarity relationships, the computer similarity measure considers the entire dataset and not just pairwise comparisons. Briefly detailing the models used, 
starting with the 2D CNN, we have a residual network trained by He et al. named HisNet18. This model has 8 layers and was trained for the classification task on the ImageNet dataset. For the video sequence feature structure, we use a pre-trained HisNet 3D proposed by Monfort et al. This model is an inflate 3D HisNet, defined by the process proposed by Carrera et al. While using a pre-trained 2D models, the pooling kernels and futures are inflated to a third dimension to be able to deal with the temporal dimension. The 3D model was trained on the Moments in Time dataset, which has more than 1 million videos. Briefly describing the manifold learning methods used, the LHRR used a hypergraph model to explore the similarity information and transform it into ranking models. And secondly, we have the BFS tree, which, using a tree structure, the method explores the similarity information encoded in the Hankard list reference. The experimental evaluation of this approach was carried out on three image datasets described below. Willow Actions is composed of 911 still images distributed in seven class of actions. The second dataset called Ecclesia dataset is a collection of 1,972 images divided into 10 classes. And, and finally, the third dataset was Stanford Foreign Actions, which is composed of 9,532 images and has 14 different action classes. Our experimental protocol considered different sequence scenarios, considering 5, 10, and 15 nearest neighbors. The parameter, car a defines the size of the neighborhoods of the proposed representation learned method. As a measure of effectiveness, we consider precision map metrics. For the Willow dataset, it is possible to notice map relative gains of 31.38% compared to the 2D CNN and 18.37% compared to the 3D CNN. For the Ecclesia dataset, it occurs map relative gains of 37.47% compared to the 2D CNN and 4.45% compared to the 3D CNN. Finally, for the Stanford Foreign Actions, it is possible to notice map relative gains of 56.93% compared to the 2D CNN and 30.05% compared to the 3D CNN. As you can see, in our dataset, the scenario considering five neighbors obtained better results, so we will use it in the visual analysis performance. In order to enrich the discussion on the proposed approach, we employ dimensionality reduction methods to represent the impact of the approach on a 2D projection of the feature space using TSNE. For each dataset, the distance obtained from the features of the 2D model is presented, respectively followed by our approach. As you can see in the representations, the approach based on Hankin fusion resulted in better separability of classes of for all scenarios, resulting in a better recovery efficiency. In this paper, we propose a representation learn approach aiming to improve the comprehensiveness of representations and effectiveness of image retrieval. It uses ranking generated by a pre-trained 2D model and builds a sequence analyzed by a pre-trained 2D model. Both representations have the ranking fused by manifold learning algorithms. In the experimental evaluation, our approach achieved significant effective gains on retrieval tasks conducted on action recognition datasets. In our scenarios and datasets, the proposed approach achieved better results in comparison with the 2D CNN and 3D model in isolation. Our results are promising for representation learning, and as future work, we intend to investigate the use of the proposed approach in multimodal scenarios aimed to fuse information from multiple modalities in unsupervised multimedia retrieval scenarios.